Have you ever thought about the Dead Sea that's written about in the scriptures? The Dead Sea is some 1,296 feet below sea level, the lowest point on earth. The high mineral content of the Dead Sea is a result of the fact that it has no outlet water flow into it from a number of sources carrying their various minerals at a rate of 7 million tons per day. Then of course the water evaporates leaving the minerals behind. The salinity of the Dead Sea is some 26 to 35 percent. 3.5% is the average ocean salinity. Yet the Dead Sea is 26 to 35%. The value of the minerals in the Dead Sea is approximated at some three times the total wealth of the United States of America. But nothing lives in the Dead Sea. No fish, no animal, no plant. The Dead Sea is so rich it poisons anything that would live in it. What's the point to be learned? What's the lesson? The Dead Sea, as rich as it is, is not able to sustain life because it becomes poisonous. Why? Because it has no outlet. It only receives but doesn't give out. Hmm. Is it possible that we could have a life that becomes like the Dead Sea? If it is that all we're interested in is receiving and hoarding and having, but we have no outflow, then we will not be able to truly live nor to support life. It is important that we give even as we receive. The very Bible tells us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Why? When we give, we start a cycle. Because as we give, we shall receive. Give and it shall be given unto you. So and you shall reap. So each time we give, we begin a cycle. If we fail to give, then the process ends. And if you look at life, life is made up of cycles. Without a cycle, there tends to be no life. So is it possible that we are inviting death into our life because we refuse to give? Because we've become selfish and self-centered? Let's not be a replica of the Dead Sea. Let us ensure that we have outlets. As the Lord blesses you, Bless others. Keep the cycle going. Keep the flow going. Give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure. Press down, shake them together, and running over. So shall men give into your bosom. 
God bless you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And for more, please visit us on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually as we stream live on Facebook. See you soon.